I grew up in Kisarian, in a house that overlooked Sangong Hills. How clear and lovely that view was when you stood on the veranda at sunset. Perhaps this is why, even in my adulthood, this place became a solace. We came to the hills to celebrate birthdays, to pray, to soothe our hearts and our eyes. The hills were alive with a sound of freedom. They belonged to no one, and here I was free to roam outside my tormented mind. I could immerse myself in life, one untainted by unwanted interactions, or so I thought. Unfortunately, not even the hills were spared from such. On the lonely winding trail, in the thickets of the fourth hill, we stumble upon a man, three steps away, seated on a rock, his gaze and body angled towards Ngong Town. In the next clearing, as we're taking pictures, we see him standing on the hillside, watching us. Still watching, he takes a step towards us, and we, once out of the clearing, take off at full pelt, in a way only comparable to how I would gallop to assembly in high school. But finally, Veni Vidi Visi. The takeaway is that, though you may encounter foes along your journey, they may only be fuel, propelling you to surpass your limits. Honestly, I wanted to go back, but there was no way back because he was standing in the path. But anyway, we made it. And though I will not be going back to Ngong Hills anytime soon, I can't overlook the impact that this experience had. Just the awareness that God was with us, and He always is, and because of that, we will make it through. This fact gives me peace. As for adventure, Perhaps we'll seek it somewhere else. Perhaps somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Perhaps. Thank you for sticking around and listening to our little adventure story. Until next time. Special thank you to Edith for the beautiful, beautiful montage. Perhaps it marks a new season of life. I hope it does.